today I am going to prepare a study area map using shapefile so first I am adding the shapefile then open the attribute table and uh, select your study area then go to data to export data you can rename this as per your preference so that uh, you can get it easily from your desktop I'm changing the color of the study area so this is my study area that I extracted from district boundary now I'm going to frame it to show a study area and the district boundary for showing clearly you can change the layout as per your preference just go to page and print setup you can select portrait or uh, landscape Click on full extent to adjust properly with the data frame. I'm taking a data frame from insert option. You can copy from the here and just paste to new data frame. Yeah, because Oh no. Yeah. This is my study area. Click full extent to adjust. Now uh, I will highlight the study area from the Bangladesh. There is a option draw. Now just follow what I'm doing. You can change the color from here. Yeah, I keep the same color as a mustard area. For title, yeah, write your area name. You can change the size and position, change symbol. From here, you can change the color, you can change the size. then okay 
yeah it appears black as I did yeah properties then write your area name Apply, okay. I'm writing Dhaka as uh, this is my study area. For legend, click on insert, then you will get legend option. You can edit as per your choice. Next. Yeah, size option. Next. Then you can change the border. The background shadow. The next set the spacing between the parts of your legend. It's up to you. Then finish. Yeah, where is the legend? I'm changing the name district boundary and it will appear the same as in legend you can ungroup this legend item and edit separately paste here You can keep like that as I have already uh, mentioned here legend to two legend uh, in a frame study area and district boundary so I deleted the second actually you will get title legend direction scale bar or scale text from insert option A scale here is different types of uh, scale you can choose as per your choice 
units I'm keeping it uh, kilometers gap then ok then scale text scale bar kilometer okay now scale text Now one of the important thing is to insert grid, I mean lat and long, go to properties, new grid, here who is do we want to create, the first option, appearance, the levels only, next. finish for more edits uh, click on properties and you will get lot of options to arrange the lat and long just to see how to, uh, I'm doing interior labels labels degree minute seconds font size color Level orientation, I'm keeping it left and right lines, intervals, degree, minute, seconds. Okay, here you can see the tick mark. Uh, falls inside the data frame so I will make it to show outside the frame just tick outside display ticks outside then ok ok yeah do the same as I did before Labels only. Next, finish. Then properties. Label orientation left and right. Here you can see the space between lat long is very low. It does not look good. For increasing the spacing, go again to the grid option. Here uh, you can put uh, the interval number that uh, you want to see in the map.
can group these three lines into one so that uh, it cannot be changed now I'm going to give a border of the map so that it looks good the study area map is done now I will save this map export map go in the file export map choose the folder where you want to save and rename the file name save as type you can change the resolution at off map then click to save finally this is our study map so this is the way to make a study area map in ArcGIS. Thank you for watching.